a dollar volcano. Lava fountains. Although its eruptive rate is lower than it was a few days ago, this has actually allowed it to produce even taller fountains as there's less material in the way. Although the tallest fountains are in the middle of the four spattering areas, this could change. Regardless, a fun thing you can do if you ever travel to an eruption, doesn't matter what type of volcano, is look at the erupting lava, and after it reaches its peak, time it to see how long it takes to reach the ground. Doing this, you can take the formula I now have shown on the screen and convert it to its height in meters. Of course, yes, you have to take into account air resistance, but this formula does not take that into account. All that means is that the true height is likely a bit lower than what this formula gives you.